All right, today we're looking at some of the best pieces from the LV Spring Summer Collections for 2023. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Caleb. If you're new to my channel, I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday and Sunday with weekend vlogs every Friday. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments. Find me over on Instagram at caleb.snell.designer. And what are we talking about today? We are unpacking my favorite top picks from the LV Spring Summer Collection for 2023. And trust me, you guys, it was hard to narrow it down. This is gonna be like a top 10 plus a few honorable mentions. All right, so something that was really prevalent in the women's collection this year was like enlarging of small things. We had like key clochettes turned into bags, S-locks turned into clutches, the key clay turned into a massive pouch clutch thing that's like a suitcase. So going with that theme, a couple of the pieces actually made my list this time. And the first one that I love the most is the S-lock XL. Now this piece is phenomenal. It's completely made of calfskin and it's basically just an enlarged S-lock. Hello. So this bag is phenomenal. It comes in black or red, currently priced at $3,950. It has a beautiful top handle, which is removable and a crossbody slash shoulder strap. I think this would also look fire with the chain and those massive LV rivets. Like, I mean, hello, come on. There's also even like a convenient slip pocket in the front behind the flap. Like they nailed it with this bag. Like it's, 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 it's whimsical, it's fun. It's giving, you know, Alice in Wonderland. It's just, it's weird and it's super cool. And I don't think LV has allowed itself to be weird in a very long time. And I think Nicola Gasquier is finally kind of like finding his rhythm with some of these bags in this collection. Like it is phenomenal. Next up, we have a re-edition, basically. If y'all remember, or if you've been collecting LV as long as I have, then you will remember that the LV Tilsit was originally like an 80s, 90s bag made of epi leather. Super cool, glamorous, fun. I almost bought one a few year, a couple years ago and I should have because now that this is out, we all know how that's gonna go. Anyway, this is the new Tilsit. And normally I'm not a fan of reverse monogram. I think it looks like peanut butter. I said what I said, safe space. Do not judge me or come for me in the comments. If this is your thing, awesome do you. I'm not here to stop you. But in this bag, in this instance, I can appreciate the reverse monogram. The Tilsit is currently priced at $2,640, which is a far cry from where it originally was back in the 80s and 90s. But I think that's true of almost anything at this point. Now this one has the single handle on the top, beautiful microfiber lining with a credit card slot, and it also has the strap to go crossbody. It is truly a phenomenal bag, and I think that they really did a good job updating it and kind of making it more current for today's fashion climate, right? So now normally I know we only discuss bags on this channel, which I'm sorry, it's, it is what it is. However, these platform sandals blew me away. So these are the Fame platform sandals. They're made of calfskin, strassed in beautiful bedazzled crystals. And then the ankle strap is patent leather LV monogram. I mean, these are giving Clueless, they're giving Spice Girl, they're giving like 90s fabulosity and we are 100% here for it. These are currently priced at 1,650 and they are 100% vibe approved. I think that they're so freaking cool. They're kind of giving me like, remember those Versace sandals that had us on like a chokehold a couple years ago? Well, these are a thousand times better. I just love anything. Like it looks like someone's mom took a bedazzler to it. I said what I said and that's 100% a vibe I'm here for. These are just fabulous shoes. I, I think these are really cool. Now, if, if the bedazzling's not really necessarily your color, they do have other sandals. They have kind of like a denim look, a black with like the LV twist uh, lock mechanism and then of course perforated and then of course more bedazzled on monogram like it's it's a vibe like their, their shoes are even good this year normally like lv is like not at the top of my list for for like looking at lately but like this year they're they're coming for my wallet if you caught my lv suhali lingenue gm review then you all know that i'm very excited for this bag this is none other than the new monogram clutch it comes in a few different color options so you have like a woven leather you have the monogram which is the entry price point or you have this gorgeous what they're calling nanogram leather which is basically just leather it's like a smooth calfskin but they've embossed the louis vuitton monogram but in like a contrasting color so you're getting like a two-tone color effect it has the chain it has the, the the big frame lock opening at the top the s lock on the front the single handle which you all know is like my bag style 2at hermes kelly FendiPeekaboo.com, like the one handle, that's my vibe. Now this one, of course, you know, I'm gonna go for the blue. I am a sucker for blue and gold. They, they basically brought back the, the Suhali Longinou in like an updated smaller size. Now the Nanogram capsule, it's it's really cool. It's supple calfskin. They call it a whimsical, whimsically proportioned monogram pattern for a subtle two-tone effect. Now this comes in a few different price points. If you're going with the Nanogram leather, 
In blue, red, or black, your price point's gonna be 4,100. If you do the perennial classic, just the LV canvas monogram, you're only at 3550. Is it worth saving $600? Probably not, I'll just go up to the leather version myself, but even the monogram is a vibe. Like if, if they had introduced like some of the Suhali pieces in monogram, I'd be kind of here for it, I'm not gonna lie. And I know that a lot of you are vibing with the nautical collection with the Damier Azure, so I did wanna leave you out. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna do that to you, so I picked the Neo Noe MM. I think that bucket bags are literally perfect for summer. You can throw a bottle of champagne in there, your sandals, hit the beach, you're good to go. What I love too about this piece is that it's gonna have that nice shoulder strap for you. You're gonna have the zippered pocket on the interior so that way you can keep your wallet safe. That way no one can reach in and steal your wallet as you're strolling alongside the Riviera, I guess. And it also comes with a crossbody strap. I mean, we all love a hands-free moment, especially in the summertime when you, your hands are covered with like sun lotion. Not a great look with Vachetta leather, so they really thought it out with this bag. I, this is a vibe. Currently priced at $2,380. One more item from the women's collection, and this is kind of unisex. You cannot discuss 2023 LV without talking about the Pochette Clay XL. It's so freaking weird, and I didn't think they'd actually come out with it. So it's it's huge, it's massive. I'm actually kind of excited to see it in stores, quite honestly. It's 19.7 inches long, a foot tall, three inches deep. Like, it's a big boy. And it's, it's basically just an LV clay, but like scaled up to be like a day bag if that makes any sense. It is nearly two feet long. Like the clay is this big in real life. Like it's it's a big pouch. Um, I think this is a really neat piece. Even if you just wanna like set this up in your closet, just kind of like as like a show piece, like 100% more power to you, you totally could. Currently it's priced at 3,850. I think that's a lot for monogram canvas, but I won't deny it's a vibe. All right, now fellas, I didn't leave you out. And you all know, if you guys caught my LV Men's Runway, reaction video recently, link, in the, link is down in the description, so go and check it out after this. But the men's collection this year is killing it for me. Now, this, this collection that I'm most excited about is called the LV Ornaments Collection, and it's giving us like Baroque goodness. This is the sack plat in particular. It's in a gorgeous shade of white, and it's currently priced at 4,350. Now, typically for men's runway pieces, they don't really seem to hold their value really well, so if you're open to buying things, you know, maybe pre-owned in the future, do that on Fashion File, rebag Yugi's Closet. Give this a few years, this'll be less than half the price, I promise you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lead you astray. However, I think it's kind of a vibe, I'm not gonna lie. Like if this came in like an actual like Speedy 35 or Speedy 40, I'd be buying it tomorrow. It is stunning, it is absolutely glorious. It's called Optic White. It's calf leather, cowhide leather trim. <sighs> Double handles, it's got the strap for the shoulder, the LV luggage tag, like what more do you want? Now, it's not really the traditional sack plat, remember, the kind of rectangular vertical shape. However, being more east-west, it's gonna give you a little bit more ease of entry, and it has that hook closure so that we can get in and out real quick. This is the perfect, well, it's a white bag, so it's not really perfect for work, but it's the perfect tote for bumming around the city. It is what it is. Now, to that end, LV also had some really cool men's collections in canvas. My favorite one this year is the Monogram Comics Canvas, and this is gonna be the mini soft trunk. I love the big chunky silver chain. I, I love that it looks like, it looks like a coloring book. Like it's giving us that street vibe aesthetic. It is so cool. I love the, the bright silver hardware. It's priced at 3,400 and it is 100% a vibe. It's currently available on the website. So, well, when I'm filming this, so it might not be anymore. I am very close to putting this in card. It's so freaking cute. And I love that ice blue lining. Like this entire collection was a vibe and each piece had a different color interior or lighting, which I thought was really cool. All right, back to that ornaments collection. This is the Cruiser Messenger, and I'm loving this color that it's in. They're calling it Dark Shadow Gray, and it really makes that gold hardware pop. Like, it's a vibe. I'm gonna say that for every single thing in this video, but after all, this is like my LV top picks, right? Like, everything's gonna be a vibe. This is currently priced at $31.50, and it's super cool. It's perfect, honestly. It's got that thick guitar strap, that beautiful Baroque embossed leather. It's supposed to look like an 18th century chateau. Sure, I see it. It's giving Versace. Like this is what I would have loved to have seen from the Versace Fendi collab. Like maybe it's like some really cool embossed leathers and like the Baroque styling. But overall it's absolutely stunning. And I love that like that clip at the top to keep it closed. And that leather looks divine. And with that bright gold hardware, it's, 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 it's a stunner. I'm gonna say it right now. This one is deep on my wish list. Currently it's under notify me. So I don't know if you can actually get it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, one last piece. And then we're gonna go into my honorable mentions because they're doozies. Up next, we have the LV Play Hat. I think this is so cool. I love that, like, chunky. It's giving, like, raver vibes, kinda. Um, it's just basically a bucket hat. It's reversible, white on one side, monogram on the other. You have this really cool drawstring through it with, like, the chunky plastic beads. 
It's super cute. It's $880, a little high for a hat with plastic beads, but overall super cute. So they're saying that the LV Play Hat evokes childlike wonder with its crayon box colors and playful details. Toy-like resin beads decorate the brim of the hat and give iconic house motifs a youthful update. Like it's a vibe is what they're saying. It's it's so cute. And honestly, I can see this working with quite a few styles. Ooh, on the white side with that white sack plaid I just showed you guys. We're here for it. Ooh, and a white track suit. Okay. Notify me, I need, I need this hat now. <laughs> All right guys, now we're up to the honorable mentions. Now these are priced a little ridiculously high. Take it with a grain of salt, but first up we have the Keep All Bandolier 50 and that amazing crocheted goodness. So this bag, it's made of leather, completely covered in the crochet, and then the decals are then crocheted on, completely handmade, absolutely stunning, and it was really cool because a lot of the pieces of ready to wear had a lot of these motifs with them, especially the leather jacket with like the sleeves in the, the crochet motif vibe it's so cool currently priced at twenty six thousand six hundred dollars i mean being handmade i'm sure only a few of these were ever made and i mean it's iconic this is absolutely gorgeous it's the 50 centimeter size so i mean it's it's good for travel in theory would i really travel with it no this would be another piece that's just like sitting on a pedestal in my closet with like a spotlight that's it. That's all. To that end, another bag that would be in the same position is the Soft Truck. You guys, this is so stinking cute. Again, I'm sure very few are made. It's currently priced at $24,400. It's super cute. So it's giving a soft trunk. It's giving a soft truck. It's like the perfect amalgamation of both. And I'm loving that, that they did such a good job of like reinvigorating like a classic LV delivery truck. Like it's, it's, it's a really neat concept. So just imagine like in your closet, this sitting next to the paint can from last year. It's an aesthetic. It really is. I, I'm loving it. It's, it's whimsical. It's creative. It's fun. Like we haven't seen things like this from LV in a very, very long time. I'm a Marc Jacobs stan, by the way. Now, last up, we have some men's ready to wear, you guys. And as soon as I saw this, it was giving me, do you guys remember the mink wraps with the multicolor monogram way back in the day? Like 2000s. Anyway, this is giving those vibes. This is the mink fur crew neck. For the men's collection, it has shades of pink, green, and purple. Some of my favorite colors. You all know I love cool colors. I love the white LV on the kangaroo pocket on the front. And this piece is currently priced at 30,500 USD before tax. Ouch. <laughs> That's a lot for a sweatshirt. But what I'm really loving about this the most is that it has like a nice drop shoulder. I love my oversized drop shoulder sweaters in the wintertime. Absolutely perfect. I'm vibing with these purple, those purple velvet monogram pants. Like it's a look. I'm really living for it. So this piece, it's, it's luxurious. It's white mink. It's lined with silk. I mean, what more do you want? for 30K in a sweatshirt. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments. Were any of these on your wish list? Uh, did I miss anything that I should have added? Like this collection is fire and, and I haven't been this excited about LV in a very long time. Like it's, it's been a good minute. Also, make sure to hit the thumbs up down there if you haven't already. Hit subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Like I said, I post lots of luxury and lifestyle content every Wednesday and Sunday. Everyday slice of lifestyle vlogs on Friday. So if that's something you're into, hit subscribe. We have a lot of fun around here, not gonna lie. And until next time, guys, ha stay safe, have fun. I will see you all on Wednesday. Yeah, that's the next day. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>